Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It's Monday the 30th of October. In this video we're going to look at the charts on copper. What we will see is that we're up to long-term resistance which goes all the way up to 3.4. This is going to hold the copper price but this consolidation could be a flag. Let's look at those charts. And here we have the weekly on copper and you can just see that we've got this resistance uh, dating back. In fact, I'll move the chart uh, back in time and you can see we've got this resistance which dates from March 2013 uh, really all the way to um, uh, November 14 so we've got we've got this uh, trade range in range from that period um, bounded at 340 and 3 that is resistance many resistance points in there and that is holding the market at the moment you can see that um, we're in this kind of uh, shorter term uptrend um, but we found a resistance into that resistance sorry resistance in the resistance um, at 323 and we've pulled back now other factors on the weekly charts are reasonably positive uh, the moving average is 20 in the 50 are back above the 200 that 200 will start to move around um, not in the imminent future but certainly over the next uh, few months that will start to turn around and you can see that momentum is uh, very strong we've got the RSI up at 65.53 although that's likely to drift as we've had a non-confirmation with the RSI not reaching a new high on the high of two weeks ago so just keep your eye on that and the MACD as well are flatlining at the high level still indicating positive momentum but it is uh, diminishing on the daily picture um, here you can see that the consolidation has brought us back to the rising 20-day moving average. Uh, we're marginally below that today. Uh, the moving average is positive. It was very positive that it crossed through the 50 on the 17th of October. That's a golden cross and does bode well for the medium term. And below there, obviously, the 200-day is moving up reasonably strongly. Again, on the daily, you can see that we've lost momentum. Uh, the RSI um, is now um, ticking down. It's marginally above 50, uh, 51.7. And the MACD as well, the short term has just gone below the longer term. Some see that as a sell signal. Uh, I would just indicate that it's just a sign that the momentum has been lost. Um, but I would be hopeful that the 50 day will hold the market as it did back in September where we um, we messed around the 50 day before moving back up. So I'd hope that 50 day does hold. And on the four hour chart um, here, we've had a bearish cross as the 20s crossed the 50. Um, obviously a bearish sign. They're both moving down now and will create resistance. To the downside, the 200 is still moving up and would give support. And we saw that happened uh, back in the 8th of October uh, before the rise. I mean, at that point, though, you can see that the, the 200 day gave support. And then we had the, uh, the, the bonus that the 20 crossed that and then gave further support, which gave the, the, uh, the impetus for the, for the move up. Uh, momentum here uh, definitely lost 33 spot one two on the RSI and now the uh, MACD short term and long term tracking down and below zero. So looking at where the support and resistance levels are, uh, resistance one is at the 20 from the four hour 3.132 and then the 50 from the four hour 3.153 with supports at 3.039 being the 50 day and 3.028 that 200 from the four hour. So thanks for watching this video on copper. 
Um, the key takeaways are that we're into long term resistance. Uh, consolidation is healthy. Will it just be a flag? We need to wait and see. Uh, we've had a loss of upside momentum, um, but hopefully the support should hold and we will get confirmation of a flag down the road. But as I said, we really do need to wait and see. Thanks for watching this video from TA for Traders. If you're not a subscriber, just hit the subscribe button down below. You then get email updates when I come out with new videos. I don't just cover commodity markets, I also cover foreign currency, equity indices, <coughs> and, excuse me, and single stocks in the UK and the US. These videos are my opinion only and they're not an investment recommendation. There's a disclaimer after the video, uh, please do read it. Thank you. Thank you.